gear training for, for the next couple of weeks. Um, so as I mentioned earlier when we started today, in the backpack you received a couple of different materials. Um, you'll get to know those materials really well um, throughout this training program, but also um, during each day of orientation you're going to be re reviewing those. Uh, today, the TIs are also going to be doing a small group presentation for you all, uh, so you'll get to see and hear uh, what that should look like. Uh, so that'll be uh, for you all to kind of listen in and really just observe what they're doing, what is it that they are saying at certain points um, throughout the catalog presentation, and you'll get to see an icebreaker that they'll do. Um, you all will be doing icebreakers as well and going over the folder um, as, uh, that they receive at check-in and also the student handbook. And there's also uh, a script for, for those as well. Um, TIs, if you all want to help pass out the rubric to the reviews. to go over these. It's very similar rubric to what we did for your tour assessment. Um, so we're very clear on what we're looking for um, and you'll kind of know what our expectations are in the beginning. And in the beginning, and at the front, you'll see that there's a competency, delivery, and uh, a couple other things that we look for in terms of your um, delivery and presentation. Um, so obviously we want to make sure that you know the content um, that you're able to um, give this presentation, that you are confident in the delivery and the material of it. Um, we're also going to see you know, how easily you're able to uh, demonstrate your knowledge of it. Uh, there might be some questions that are asked uh, throughout your presentation that uh, you know, students are going to be asking you. Um, so we'll probably ask you some questions as well, um, just to make sure that you know, you know the content. Uh, and then information, we're also going to be looking at pacing, eye contact, uh, you know, how comfortable you are with handling the catalog. Because uh, not only are you going to be sharing the information, but you're also going to uh, be uh, facilitating that for your students. So letting them know where the pages are, if you, they can easily follow you, you want to make it as, as easy for them as well. Because um, as you'll see, and you might experience this um, today, it is about a 55 minute uh, presentation that you do, so you'll want to keep that engagement up. And we'll show you kind of some tricks of, of how to do that and make sure that everyone is paying attention. Uh, so also be thinking of like, what are some ways that you think a freshman student you know, may be feeling like um, during their orientation or a transfer student. Um, so kind of talking, uh, kind of going back to what we talked about last week, right? And then we're also going to um, check to see that your tab is, uh, that your catalog is tabbed properly, um, that there are proper introductions, icebreakers. Um, part of your icebreaker is uh, you want to make sure that everyone introduces themselves, right? because you want them to get to know one another. They might be having something in common, maybe from the same hometown or, or whatnot. So that'll also be an opportunity for them to connect with other students here at orientation. Um, and then, yeah, and then I already mentioned the, the other two. And then on the back, it goes into more detail. Um, so what does, you know, excellent mean? What does good or very poor uh, mean? And um, those are some of the things that we'll continue to look at throughout your presentation, okay? Any questions on what our expectations are or the rubric at this time? Yeah? Um, what are the, oh, actually, I think it's this one here. Just getting that question. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Um, your TIs will also be available, and obviously, if something comes up or you want to ask us, feel free to, to do so. Um, we're going to give you the script after the small group presentation. Uh, we want you to be, again, really listening to your, the TI, uh, paying attention to what the information is that they're sharing. You'll probably see that the information may be a little similar to the tour script, um, but there might be also some new information as well. So um, we'll give you that afterwards. 
Is there anything else on the materials that y'all wanted to mention to them? TIs or these? So um, we're going to go ahead and um, break you up into your TI teams, and um, they're going to be taking you to um, somewhere out here in Student Services West, and then if you all can be back in about an hour. Yes, and then before we do that, we have some announcements. And you can leave your stuff here. Um, you don't need to bring anything really with you. Um, we'll come back. We're, we're going to be coming back. So Natalie, you have to go. Yes. So get excited. We're having our tabbing party next Wednesday. Um, so it'll take place after training. Um, so right after training, all the way until 8 p.m. So if at some you don't have to stay the whole time, you're totally free to if you want, you want to hang out. Um, but if you can only stop by at like 7:30, like you can do that as well. Um, so it's gonna take place at Javier's house. All the TIs will be there. Um, and we're gonna have all of our tab catalogs there, so you can use ours as an example and um, tab your own. Um, and I'll have an email to go out with specific like details, like Javier's address, but just so you guys know where he lives, it's like the intersection of College Avenue and Montezuma, so it's basically on campus. So it's not <laughs> far, so we can all like mob over there. Um, also we're thinking about having food. So um, I kind of want to get a count now. If you think you'll be able to go, or you're pretty sure you'll be able to go, can you just raise your hand so I can know how much food to bring? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, once you're ready, training all the way till 8. So even if you get a snack for 30 minutes, what's up? Yeah. Kitchen. Okay, pretty much everyone. Okay, pretty much everyone. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I'll send out an email though, and I'll probably say in the email, like, uh, reply and let me know if you can come or not, just so I can know exactly how much food to get. Um, also in that email, I'm going to send, or I'm going to attach a link to a doodle poll so <laughs> that we can know when good times to have review sessions are, because we're going to start having review sessions again, um, so to help you with the quizzes. Does anyone have any questions about that at all? No? All good? So, yeah, so we'll split up into our groups, so just follow your TI and they'll lead you out. Oh, yeah. Can we keep your hands Um, yeah. I would say no, because you, uh, well, Do you want actually, them to? My group bring theirs, please. Maybe somebody bring them with you. Yeah, bring them with you. Yeah, actually, bring them with you, because you're basically all going to be acting like <laughs> students. 